Hey, what's up sports bettors, Alex here. We are gonna go behind the scenes into how to make money sports betting on DraftKings. So DraftKings is one of the first sports books I signed up for, either first or second. I was living on the Pennsylvania, New Jersey border, bet more money on DraftKings than any other sports book. They offer better and more promotions than probably any other sports book. Odds boosts, VIP program, daily betting promotions, profit boosts, things like that. So all we're gonna talk about, how to make money on DraftKings Sportsbook. So as always, if you don't like this content, if you don't like it, you can email us, you can let us know what you want to see. If you do like this content, shoot us an email, like, share, and subscribe. The whole goal of this video is to teach you about DraftKings and to get you making more money off of DraftKings Sportsbook. So let's dive in starting now. So the first reason that DraftKings is absolutely elite is the number of promos and boosts that they offer. I mean, they are the Santa Claus of the US sports betting industry. Every time you're logging in, there's something new, there's some new profitable betting opportunity that they're giving away, oftentimes just free money. I mean, they literally have promos called no-brainers that are absolutely insane, basically just free money. And on top of that, for their highest volume bettors, they offer insane VIP loyalty programs, VIP loyalty points. So DraftKings is one of the best sports books to have. And again, the main reason is the quantity of the promos and boosts they're offering. DraftKings is giving away more promos, more boosts than, you know, Sam Darnold fans. DraftKings is insane with the number of boosts and promos they offer. So we're gonna flip over right now. I'll show you DraftKings, what they're offering currently. And every week it's different. There's always something new. So here we can see the promos on DraftKings Sportsbook. There's like six. Now I will say it's January 1st at 9 p.m. So it's not like there is a ton going on, right? All the college football games ended. All the college football betting promotions are now gone. There were some insane ones yesterday as well, but they started to post NFL ones. So you can see there are three NFL ones right here. Now, I will note, not all of these promotions are super, super profitable, right? Some of them aren't even profitable, like this Gary V's Die Hard Dialogue. It's not even good. Don't bet it. It's not even good. But some of them, like this same game parlay extravaganza, are absolutely insane. They're very profitable, and you definitely want to take advantage. So basically, every day you log into DraftKings, there will be new promos. There will be new fun promos that you can look at and many of them are very profitable right so log into DraftKings every day basically that's what I do and I see what's out there so DraftKings offers a $1,000 sign up bonus pretty incredible you deposit up to $5,000 and you'll get 20% in site credit so the DraftKings sign up bonus it's not mind-boggling it's not like it's the best one in the U.S. sports betting industry but I mean still it's nothing to scoff at um, so next we have limits and bans. Does DraftKings ban betters? Never heard of it. Do they limit sharp, profitable betters? Yes, absolutely they do. Basically, there's not gonna be a single sports book that we ever talk about limits and bans about who um, is not limiting betters. That doesn't happen. It doesn't happen in the US. All of these sports books will take action up to a point if they determine, whoa, this guy's really smart, really profitable, they're not gonna take your action forever. They're gonna cut down your bet size. And if you think about it, it's kind of fair, right? I mean, this may be a controversial opinion, but sports books are in the business of providing us, people who love to bet on sports, you know, a place where they can bet on sports. They're not just gonna take a bunch of people who are coming in and making money off them. It doesn't make sense for them. It's a business, they can do what they want with their customers. So again, it's not that I, I you know, am happy I'm limited on DraftKings Sportsbook, absolutely not. I mean, if you've seen some of my previous videos when I try to place a bet and they're rejecting them, it's not fun as a sports better, but the great thing about the US is there are so many sports books in this country that you will eventually get limited by a few. It's going to happen. It's guaranteed going to happen. You're going to get limited by a few sports books, but there's so many. There's like 50 sports books in this country. So you'll always have a new place where you can place your bets and get your action down. So next we're gonna talk about the vague or the juice on DraftKings Sportsbook. Some sportsbooks have much higher juice 
than other sports books. It's very well known that the offshore sports books, the global sports books, have lower juice than they do in the US. And DraftKings is kind of right in line with the rest of US sports books. You're not gonna get absurdly low juice. You're not gonna get minus 105, minus 105 point spreads. You are going to get the standard minus 110, minus 110 markets. But what is great about DraftKings is they offer tons of betting options. I mean, DraftKings has more markets than there are Baker Mayfield fans, right? DraftKings has so many markets. You can bet on NASCAR. You can bet on all forms of derivative markets. They don't only have the main line markets. This is one of the things that's really most interesting about the U.S. sports betting industry is the evolution of the markets that are being offered on U.S. sports books. So you can probably see, you probably know already at this point, so many sports books offer these same game parlays, right? SGPs, FanDuel was first to release it, then DraftKings did. They're all in the business of charging a higher juice, but providing sports bettors like yourself more markets that you can bet on. You wanna bet on weird parlays in the same game, you can bet on that on DraftKings, right? If you wanna combine a first touchdown score and a first half point spread, you can bet on that on DraftKings Sportsbook. So they offer more markets, I would say, than any other sportsbook in the US. It is insane how many markets they offer that you can bet on, which is obviously a perk of having DraftKings. So interesting point about DraftKings, let's start with number one. The first one is DraftKings used to, used to have the exact same odds as Bet Rivers, Sugar House, Unibet Sportsbook. All of the sportsbooks, including DraftKings, were getting their odds from a European company called Camby. So if you looked at DraftKings, you looked at Unibet, you looked at Bet Rivers, all the odds would be exactly the same. But this changed about five or six months ago, actually, and DraftKings bought their own odds provider. SB Tech. So now DraftKings has different odds than basically every other sports book in the United States. Their odds are not the same anymore as, you know, the odds on Bet Rivers or the odds on Univest. So that's the first interesting point about DraftKings Sportsbook. The next interesting point, and we could talk about this for days, we can talk a little bit about the VIP program on DraftKings. Everyone is curious. They literally have a tab, a tab on their website that says, VIP. Everyone wants to know what it takes to be a VIP better. So obviously it involves betting a lot of money. You're not going to get become a VIP better betting $10 every other week. It's just not going to happen. But once you are a VIP better, I have never seen more insane, you know, promos for VIP betters than I've seen with myself as well as some of my friends and what they get on DraftKings Sportsbook, special deposit bonuses, big betting opportunities, profit boosts, free bets, all sorts of promos to keep you engaged, keep you coming back. When you become a VIP member on DraftKings, they will set you up with your own rep. I mean, it's kind of unbelievable, but you're start, you'll start getting texts from a guy or a girl who works at DraftKings and they'll be like, hey, you know, you want a deposit bonus? of 10% up to $5,000 with XYZ playthrough. It's very fascinating how customized and you know, DraftKings really does try to keep their customers close. So they'll email you a lot, they'll text you a lot, and that's just part of the game with DraftKings, but they offer some of the best promos, some of the best boosts, and honestly, probably the best loyalty program in the United States. So that is what I have on DraftKings Sportsbook. Any other questions you have about DraftKings, you can reach out to us anytime. This is what we love, talking about sports betting, helping sports bettors who are just starting out. So do not, do not hesitate to reach out. And as always, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. If there's any other types of content you want to see, sports books you want reviewed, whatever it is, you can reach out to us at Odds Jam. Um, we'll be happy to help. And long story short, I've made a lot more money off DraftKings than I have with most sports books. They've treated me very well. Tons of promos, tons of boosts. If you are looking for a sports book to sign up for, we don't currently have any affiliation with DraftKings, um, but I would highly recommend getting this book. Thank you.